Good afternoon, everyone. Today I would like to talk about the record-breaking cold wave that swept through Alberta and Saskatchewan provinces in Canada, breaking records from as far back as 1909. A quick look at the Canadian map and you can easily point out Alberta and Saskatchewan in the green. These temperatures did not occur up near the Arctic Circle. They were further down in the southern region toward the border with the United States. Now one thing I did notice quickly when I was Google searching some of my information to pull up the websites that were hosting this temperature data. Notice this. A month earlier there were record high temperatures in Saskatchewan. A month later it's 60 low temperature records broken. That's a dramatic swing in temperature in a, in a 30 day period. Quick run through the temperatures. This is for southern Alberta. Starting to approach the 100 year cold record mark quite frequently with those temperatures right at the near record level of 1911. If we look at that and translate it into Fahrenheit, it's negative 15 Fahrenheit. Record lows coming through 27 degrees below zero. These are Celsius temperatures for those of you in the US. You can do the conversion. I was focusing mainly on the old temperature record compared to the new temperature record. Now in Sunday, notice that it's 10 degrees on the difference of that. In Waterton Park Gate as well, 8 degree difference. Banff, that was a 1 degree change. Grand Prairie, also a degree. But if you do notice, some of these are grand temperature swings. If we look at Val Marie highlighted in blue, that's a 9 degree difference. Jumping over to Saskatchewan, in Cypress Hills Park, the old record of 1927, new record was set just slightly above the old, but you did see mixed in with the slightly above 1 to 2 degree new temperatures, there were a couple that were giant leaps, you know, 8 degrees, 10 degrees differences there. And some more record temperatures in Saskatchewan for you to look at. And if temperatures truly are getting cooler, and if we are going to repeat cycles of cooling in solar minimums, you would expect there would be other signs of cold across the planet. Arctic ice extent data sheet comes out shows that it's pushing above the 10 year running average. Look at the black line, that's this year. The lowest line at the very bottom there is 2012. So we're in the top 10 years of ice growth in the last 10 years. We're at number one in the last 10 years. It should continue to extend northward from here as well as the Great Lakes getting into some record ice a little bit above last year. They're already having an early freeze down in Lake Superior ice two weeks or three weeks before the average. And the reason I mentioned the solar minimum, the active region count of sunspots has been decreasing over the last couple of cycles. It's forecast to decrease yet again in the next solar cycle. And as it does play itself out over the next two solar cycles, we should enter a grand minimum. But the effects are already starting to be felt and from this year forward, actually last year, it will get colder and colder which should affect some of our food production, population centers, and some of our infrastructure. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video.